Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, so last time, Jeff managed to free our, our other two heroes here. And we're still in Threed, which is still under invasion by zombie forces. Wonder what's going on. Let's check in with the headquarters. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kids at home. Wow, what a jerk. He really is heartless, isn't he? Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around. I just mean I'm frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. It's true. And the rest of these guys probably say the same thing. Leaving your wife and kid. What a horrible thing to do. And there's that guy who said he was working with the... Um, oh gosh, I don't want to fight him. Last time he kicked my butt. <laughs> um, so one thing I I missed last episode. There's actually um, a garbage can with an item. Like right as you're exiting the, um, the place where Ness and Paula were being held. If you go to the right, you'll see a fence and a dead tree. If you go above the dead tree and over to the right, to the outside, you'll see a, a small house with a garbage can. If you check the garbage can, there's a teddy bear inside, which I've already gotten and also already it's it's gone. <laughs> it just happened that way. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for that. All right, so I also got a, a couple of things for for Jeff, the copper hat or the the copper hat, the copper bracelet and the hard hat. <laughs> um, also, the uh, broken air gun that Jeff had in his possession. Um, after I slept at the hotel, he fixed it and it became the Magnum air gun, which is an upgrade over what he had. So that's good. And oh gosh, <laughs> that tents aren't supposed to do that. Gorg. How very eloquent. And the boogie tent trapped us. It's just a face on the side of a tent. <laughs> but here's a boss fight for you. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what he's weak to. Um, if he's weak to anything at all. What I would do is just hit him with your strongest magic attacks and have Jeff attack like normal. Um, and as you can see, Ness has uh, learned the beta level of side gaming, so we're going to use that. Paula also has a couple of beta level offensive spells. Let's try Psy Freeze. And... Well, we could use... We could use the big bottle rocket. Or we could use the defense spray. I'm not... I don't know. Let's use the defense spray. Oh no, that increases our defense. Well, might as well give it a shot. Oh, well, freezing him didn't do a whole heck of a lot. So don't use I, the freezing attack. Psy Gaming did pretty good, though. Alright. Um, well, let's try fire, then. It's a tent, right? I mean, it's made of cloth, so it should be weak to fire. <laughs> oh, and the defense spray was a one-time only thing. Okay, well, that's gone. Um, oh, I don't want to waste the big bottle rocket. Let's just, let's just attack. Okay, that did much better. So fire and gaming it is. Gaming is effective against everything. And the boogie tent was defeated. All that, all those spells and it was Jeff's gun that, that did the trick. And Jeff went up another level. So that tent goes away. And in its place, you see a couple of zombies and a garbage can. Inside the garbage can is a jar of fly honey, and that's important. 
Okay, that's an important item that we're gonna need later. Uh, blah blah blah. I've already heard you. I thought he might say something different now that the tent's gone. Um. Yeah. Alright. So let's see. Now that we've g gotten rid of that demon tent. Actually, what's this guy doing? Just kind of hanging in the back alley here. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. Well, that's... Well. So, obviously the Tory air gun is a weapon for Jeff. The bomb and the... Uh, the bomb is just an offensive item. The bottle rocket is the same thing. Uh, another offensive idol that I... Tim, idol, whatever. And the rust promoter... You know, I don't remember what that does, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, well, we could sell that um, stun gun. We don't need that anymore. Okay. So, a hidden weapons dealer, I guess. Alright, let's talk to everybody in here. How can we defeat the zombies? I just don't know. So this weird object was flying around and crashed in the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Did you see it? Wow, did you come here in that flying contraption? Well, yes I did. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Yes, you said that. Yes, we've heard that before. Yes. I know all these guys say the same thing, but I want to talk to everybody because I believe... Well, maybe not. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. We get a phone call from the Apple Kid. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked Mock Pizza Delivery Man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Oh, the good old reliable apple kid. So basically what you want to do is you just want to walk around a little bit until the mock pizza guy shows up. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was wandering around three. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello Ness. Um, just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness no matter what. What a reliable guy. Paula got the zombie paper. That's right, Ness. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Wow. If I didn't like pizza so much, I swear. Well, here's a tent. This should do just fine, right? Certainly not putting into the evil one that, you know, you know. It doesn't exist anymore because I beat it. You can do whatever you want. Just save my life. This guy at the pizza joint told me about a new product called zombie paper. Yes, we've all we know that. Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. So you're going to use this tent as a trap. Whoops. We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to select the zombie paper and use it. And we place the zombie paper on the floor. Just imagine when we wake up tomorrow morning. Ugh, it'll be really gross. Hey, 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 stupid zombies, come on over. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. I have a nice bone for you. I believe they eat brains, not bones. They're not dogs. Except zombie dogs. Zombie dogs are also dogs that are dead. And also like brains. But also like bones. Hey, stupid zombies, come out, come out wherever you are. The suspense is killing me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zombie Paper is a stupid product name. Well, was well, just calling it like it is. What, what would you call it? You're stupid. You don't even know. When you inside, when you invent something that will help save many people's lives, then you can name it whatever the heck you want. In, until that time, you're just gonna have to deal with it, aren't ya? What's wrong with zombie paper, anyway? Yes, I'd like to stay. We got stuff to do, what's going on? Here come the zombies. Here they go. And they leave that, well that's the key right there. That's obviously the next place we need to go, but look at all the zombies. Even the dog went in. And it's morning. Hello. You're working hard, even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what is in it. Boogie Tent Falls. Young human to blame. Yes, I am. And not sad about it. Uh, let's call every call mom and dad every time. So how's your adventure going? I see it sounds like you're having some tough times then. Teacher blah blah, we've heard that before. Yes, your steamy part. Good, good, good. Bye bye. I only four hundred and seven dollars. Well we already spent almost half of that. <laughs> Moving along. Thanks, Dad. Alright, let's see what happened. Everybody's waiting outside. We caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. You might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies. You're right, I don't. Well, yeah, I do understand. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We did it. Did you look in the tent? Yeah, we taught those stupid zombies a lesson. What's up, kid? I had to run all over to escape the zombies. Now I can't remember where my house is. Whoops! <laughs> That's not good. You should find that. You should figure that out. Oh, wow. That's a lot of zombies. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. Wow. What a jerk. Zombie paper really works. So I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Uh, that wasn't a nice thing to say. No, no it was not. There's no response. He's not moving. The ones that move actually talk. I'll blame you after my quote-unquote death. C get it? Because he's undead. I'll blame you for the rest of my life. Ha. If I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. Oh, he's looking at the wrong guy. That guy's dead. That guy's almost dead. He's on the way out. Could you help me? Maybe not. I don't care if I pass away. <laughs> I'm dead already. You humans are such cowards. Your face is a coward. You are the enemy of all zombies, you monster. There's no response. All those zombies. Well, looks like we've... We've done a good thing here, but we're not done. You, obviously, Threed's not back to normal yet. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. Well, you should probably do something about that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to end it here, and obviously that, that path is is uh, next on our list of to do things and um, we'll do that next time on let's play earthbound i'll see you then